Here's a 12 inch pan stock oscillating table fan that I just got today. It was over an hour drive to get this fan for me from the owner and I got because it's a rare fan I found online posted and it's uncommon to see a pan stock fan with the blue blades like this too. I have a pan stock fan 12 16 inch oscillating model with the smoke gray blades array and just something that's harder to find. Here's the plug and I'll clean this fan eventually and make a video of cleaning this fan and oiling the motor because it needs some oil. It has three speeds and this is a five-way oscillation model as it says there. Got the Panasonic style batch here. This fan was actually made by Panasonic themselves, not a another fan company and rebadging so here it is on the low This fan definitely needs some oil because of how slow it's starting and I'll show a video of myself oiling the motor in this fan too. The fan is very quiet like every other Panasonic fan. The oscillator does work too. Here's the back side. This fan also has a bone carry handle here, which my 16-inch pan sock doesn't have. And, uh, oops. Uh, that's my tripod. Underneath here is the sticker. From what I heard, this fan was made in Japan. And there's a sticker. I think this is from 1983, either made or bought that year. This is a very rare model. And another pan stock, I have the information label is engraved, and that was an American assembled model, I remembered. But this thing, I guess, this is made in Japan. And they're good. It's an initial check of this fan. I'll bring more videos of this fan to the channel. Goodbye. Here it's time to take the fan apart for cleaning. And first off, I'm taking the front grill off, the blades, then the rear grill off before I take the plastic motor covers off for cleaning and oiling of the motor. I'm also removing the front badge up here for easier cleaning of the front grill and to wash this badge out. Here I'm using a Phelps head screwdriver to remove these three screws on the front motor cover and then I'll Pull the oscillating pin out slowly to avoid damage and then remove the rear motor cover.
Here's the rear motor cover. Before I take it apart, and I'll use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove this screw. Now I make sure that all the screws are together where I won't forget them. And here's the oscillating pin taken out off camera because that took time to pull it out without damage to the plastic. And here's the fan taken apart here for better cleaning. And here's what the motor looks like after disassembly. Here I'm using a garden hose to spray these parts out for better cleaning before I let them dry out and then wipe for final assembly. Here are the parts being dried out after the rinse with a garden hose. And once these parts get dried, I'll be putting them back together for final assembly. Now it's time to vacuum this uh, dust off of the motor and then blow it out with this vacuum I'm using. I'm using Oric XL handheld canister vacuum with a hose. Here it's time to oil the motor with 3-in-1 motor oil. This is a very tricky process that I do so because I can't take the motor apart because of the design of the motor being riveted together and plus the screws in the back are so hard that it's hard to remove them with a screwdriver. So this is going to take some time. Now it's time to put this fan together. I'm removing the screw that I put on so it won't disappear. And now I'm going to be putting the rear motor cover on first and then screw the screw back on as tight as I can. And then I'll put the oscillating pin back on too. Now I'm putting the front motor cover back on and then putting the screws back on and repeating the 
reassembly process with this Phillips head screwdriver. Here I'll be putting the rear grill back on, the blades and the front grill back on for the last part of assembly and then I'll do a brief demonstration of this fan of what it looks like after servicing and how it runs compared to the initial checkout video. Here's my blue 12 inch Panstock Osling table fan from 1983 after it's cleaned up and oiled. Oiling this fan wasn't easy because of how the motor is designed and some of the screws are just too tight to unscrew. Here's the plug and, a, and this one has five-way oscillation too. This is a real Panasonic, not a rebadge made by another fan company. And I'll start off on low here without oscillating. I'll do another video this fan as well. It starts up faster than before because the motor really needed oil and the bearings were dry. Really quiet fan. This one has a carry handle unlike my other Panasonic, so the other two I have are featured on the channel with the smoke colored blades. Definitely runs smoother now with oil and water. And there we go, that's after servicing this Panasonic Ossling fan.